hello everyone i welcome you all to my channel in this video we are going to see inverse z transform using long division method or power series expansion method so now we are going to solve inverse z transform using long division method so before solving the problem we should remember some important properties then only we can solve the problem easily so the first thing we have to remember is for causal signal if x of z is expressed in negative powers of z so negative powers of z means z power minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like that so if x of z is expressed in negative powers of z then division must begin from a constant so you from the constant only you have to start our division then for causal signal if x of z is expressed in positive powers of z then division must begin from the highest power of z that means if you are having the term z cube plus z square plus 1 means we have to divide from z cube that is the highest power of z then third point so for non causal signal the above two points are for causal signal then the third one is for non causal signal if x of z is expressed in negative powers of z then division must begin from highest power of z then non causal signal if x of z is expressed in positive powers of z then division must begin from the constant sometimes in the problem they won't give whether it is a causal signal or non causal signal they will be giving the modulus of z value so if modulus of z value is greater than a constant value means then it is a causal signal similarly if modulus of z is less than constant value means then it is a non causal signal so these are the important properties we have to keep in mind before solving the problem using long division method so first problem by using long division method determine the inverse z transform of x of z is equal to 1 plus 2 z inverse divided by 1 minus 2 z inverse plus z power minus 2. Subdivision A when x of n is causal. Subdivision B when x of n is non causal. So first we are going to solve subdivision A. x of n is causal. Already we have seen if x of n is causal and x of z is expressed in negative powers of z. So here it is expressed in negative power of z therefore we have to divide by constant that means the from the constant value only we have to start our division so numerator 1 plus 2 is it power minus 1 so from constant we have to start writing similarly denominator term 1 minus 2 is it inverse plus is it power minus 2 so we have to start from the constant value that is the important thing we have to remember now normal division so first we have to nullify 1 so we multiply by 1 so 1 into 1 1 then minus 2 is it inverse into 1 minus 2 is it inverse plus 1 into is it power minus 2 is it power minus 2 then we have to change this sign so minus plus minus so now this 1 minus 1 get cancelled so its value is equal to 0 then here 2 plus 2 so 4 is it inverse then minus is it power minus 2 next we have to nullify 4 is it inverse so we have to check by which term if we multiply by 1 you will be getting 4 is it four. inverse if we multiply by 4 is it inverse you will be getting 4 is it inverse then second term minus 2 is it inverse into 4 is it inverse is minus 8 is it in is it power minus 2 because here we are having minus 1 here also we are having minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 1 minus 2 plus 4 z power minus 3. z power minus 2 into z power minus 1. That is z power minus 3. Then we have to change this sign. Now this 4 z inverse and minus 4 z inverse gets cancelled. So you will be getting 8 z power minus 2 minus z power minus 2. That is 7 z power minus 2 minus 4 z power minus Next, we have to nullify 7 z power minus 2. So, we have to multiply by 7 z power minus 2. So, this term becomes 0. Then, this term 4, 14 z power minus 3 minus 4 z power minus 3 is 
10 is at power minus 3. Then minus is at power minus 4. So like that it goes on. We can write so, our answer as x of z is equal to our quotient value. That is 1 plus 4 is at inverse plus 7 is at power minus 2 plus etc. It goes on. Now from this we can write our inverse z transform x of n is equal to 1 comma Write the coefficients 1 comma 4 comma 7 comma 10 comma like that it goes on. So we have to put this arrow mark carefully. If we are having negative powers of z means then you will be getting only positive values of x of n. That means if you are putting the arrow like this means it means n is equal to 0 the value is 1. n is equal to 1 the value is 4. n is equal to 2 the value is 7. n is equal to 3 the value is 10 like that it goes on. Next, subdivision B, when x of n is non-causal and capital X of z is expressed in negative powers of z means then we have to divide by highest power of z. Already we have seen this property. So here in this problem, we have to start our division from the highest power of z. That means z power minus 2 minus 2 z power minus 1 plus 1. So here also 2 z power minus 1 plus 1. Now you have to nullify the first term. So, z power minus 2 multiplied with 2 z, you will be getting 2 z power minus 1. Since here we are having z power minus 2, here we are having z power 1. So, when we multiply these two terms, you will be getting z power minus 1. Then, minus 2 z inverse into 2 z, that is equal to minus 4. Plus, 1 into 2 z, you will be getting 2 z. Now, change the sign and simplify it. Like this, the process goes on. So, you will be getting the answer as the coefficient value that is x of z is equal to 2 z plus 5 z square plus 8 z cube plus 11 z power 4 and it goes on. Now we have to find the inverse z transform x of n. We have to write the coefficient but remember here the z power is positive. So you will be getting the negative values in the x of n. So negative values means the arrow marks should start at 0. So here the first value is equal to 0. So, 0 then second coefficient z power 1. z power 0 is 0. z power 1 is 2. So, 2 then comma 5 comma 8 comma 11 like that it goes on. The meaning is this is for n is equal to 0. This is n is equal to minus 1 and this value is n is equal to minus 2 and this value is equal to n is equal to minus 3 like that it goes on. Next problem, by using long division method, determine the inverse z transform of capital X of z is equal to z plus 1 divided by z square minus 3 z plus 2. Here also, subdivision A when x of n is castle, subdivision B when x of n is non castle. So, first subdivision A, x of n is castle, but here x of z is expressed in positive power of z, z power 1, here z square, 3 z, like that. So, positive power of z. That means we have to divide by the highest power of z. So here we have to start our division from the highest power of z. So z square minus 3 z plus 2. Then numerator term z plus 1. Now we have to nullify the first term. So when we multiply z square with z power minus 1, you will be getting z. Then minus 3 z into z power minus 1 is 3. Because this z and z power minus 1 get cancelled, so you will be getting minus 3 plus 2 into z power minus 1. Now you have to change the sign. So on simplifying this, you will be getting the answer as z power minus 1 plus 4 z power minus 2 plus 10 z power minus 3 plus etc. It goes on like this. So we can write our x of z is equal to z power minus 1 plus 4 z power minus 2 plus 10 z power minus 3. So always remember the z having negative powers. Therefore, you will be getting positive values. So, your arrow should start here at 0 coefficient. So, z power 0 coefficient value is equal to 0. z power minus 1 coefficient value is 1. z power minus 2 coefficient value is 4. And z power minus 3 coefficient value is 10. Like that it goes on. Then second subdivision. When x of n is non causal Here x of z is expressed in positive power of z. Therefore, we have to divide by cons. So, from constant we have to start writing is 2 minus 3 z plus z square 1 plus z. Now, you have to nullify the first term. So, when we multiply 2 with 0.5 you will be getting 1. Otherwise, 
simply we can uh, find out the coefficient by dividing 1 divided by 2. So, 1 divided by 2 is 0. 0.5. So, 0. 0.5 into 2 you will be getting 1. Similarly, minus 3 into 0. 0.5, 1.5, then 1 into 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5 is its square. Now, we have to change the sign and simplify this. So, here also the coefficient value is your x of z. So, x of z is equal to 0.5 plus 1.25 is at power plus 1 that is is at power 1 plus 1.625 is at square plus 1.425 is at cube etc. Now we have to write our inverse is a transform that is x of n. So remember is it is having positive powers of is it therefore you will be having the x of n as negative values. So your arrow mark should start from here. So this is n is equal to 0 this is n is equal to minus 1 minus 2 etc. It goes on like this. I hope you all have understood the problem how to solve the inverse is a transform using long division method. If you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Thank you.